Yeah, sure. Nothing on you? No. Okay. You guys give us some privacy? Can I just speak and make, you don't need to reach in, I'll just... Do you know why we're here? Are you okay if I open the no. zipper? why? Why are you guys what's, here? What's can going I, on today? Can I open the zipper? Yeah. Just checking there, thank you. I just want to make sure before. What's um, going on today okay. with you? And like, sounds like the cops have been talking to you already. Yeah. So, okay. my, um, so I... You got some blood drops on your shoes. Yeah. Okay. So my son fell this morning earlier. Oh no. Yeah, so, but I was able to take him to the doctors and everything was okay. I took him to with another lady so she can watch him for me because I, was, I wasn't staying at home. I had problems going on with my parents and they didn't let me in the house. So I, um, I was staying with another lady. She was super sweet. That's where my son fell. And then, but, but we left, so I was like, okay, you know. Um, so I went to another lady's house and I told her if she could watch him for me, I wanted to come get, you know, I wanted to, to fully recover, I'm an alcoholic. So um, I was like, if you can watch him for me for 12 months, that'd be amazing because I'm not talking to my mom. And she's the one that has like, just like a notarized paper saying that she has legal custody of them, but I have legal custody of them. She's not letting me see my older son. So, so yeah. I'm here now and everything's okay. Kay. So I don't know what else. Well, we obviously, we just, we want to make sure that he's safe and know where he is. Who's the friend that you left him with? Um, I left him with another lady. I don't have her information. Oh, well, that's, that's not going to cut it. We got to figure out where he's at. Where can you, like, tell me the location where somebody could go and check on him and make sure he's okay? In the, um, like, SeaTac area. Okay. Seattle. More specific? I don't have an address. An address. Nothing. Who's the friend? How do you know the person that, how did you pick the person? She's a long time friend that I know. Okay, what's her name? Um, Alika, that's all I know, Alika Bone. Alika Bone? Mm -hmm. Okay, you and you've known her? Or anything. Okay, but you've known her for a long time? So how did you reach out to her? So I reached out to her um, because I, I needed help. How so, did you reach out to her? Um, I found her number on my old Facebook, but I no longer have a Facebook anymore. So. Okay. So something you sign back into? And no. No. Just deleted it all. I delete it all the time. So. Yeah. You found it today on your old Facebook? Mm -hmm. And her name is Alika. Alika Bone. Alika Bone. Like B-O-N-E. Mm -hmm. Note Janet's confirmation of her friend's name, Alika Bone. Spelled B-O-N-E. Okay. And she lives in the SeaTac area. <clears throat> so you drove him from the first house you were at to her house? Or the doctor first? Mm -hmm. What doctor did you take him to? Swedish. Swedish and that's it. Swedish where? Or I think it's Providence, actually. Providence in Everett. In Everett? Providence? Okay. You understand we just need to make sure that he's okay and then... Yeah. We can just do that and then we'll... We can leave you be, you know? Yeah. Okay. Sure. So how do we find Alika? I don't know. Can you describe to me how you got there from Providence? So I just drove from there to Seattle and then that's it. You drove from Providence to, to Seattle, Seattle to, to Alika's house? Yes. Okay. Um, did you drive on the freeway or? Mm hmm Okay. Um, how, how long did it take you to get there? Like two hours. Two hours. And what car were you driving? My car. So just like one hour or so. And what kind of car do you have? Um, I have a Nissan. Okay. Where's that car now? I don't have it with me. Okay. So. Where's it at? Um, I left it at her house and then I came over here on the bus. Jeanette. Okay, Jeanette. You're not, you're not... Lying. You have a longtime friend that you reach out to to leave your son, son with, who you obviously care about of very course. much. I love him with all my yes. heart. Yes, mm -hmm. and you're expressing how upset you are about what's going on between you and your mom and the custody of him and your older son. Mm -hmm. Like, that's horrible. So, I know that you're not going to go leave your son with somebody and you don't know where he is. Yeah, no. So you do know where he is? No, I know where he is. I know where he's at. Tell me where he's at. I don't have the address for him. Okay, how can we find the address for him? I don't know. Did don't... you put it in your phone? No. To get there? Okay, Alika, you know where your son is because you're a mom who loves her son very much and you didn't I'm just... I'm not Alika, I'm Jeanette. I'm sorry, Jeanette. Oh, yeah. Alika, <laughs> you took him somewhere and you're gonna go back to him and you know where he is. Mm -hmm. So tell me where he's at so we can make sure that he's okay or what's going on. So he's not, I mean, he's there, he's okay. with her. Okay, tell he's me not how to me. go check on him. I can give you an address. Okay, what's the address? I don't know, you have to write it down. Okay, I can do that. Do you have a phone number for it too? 
Um, I don't. Okay. I don't have a phone number for her, but... When he fell, where'd he get hurt? Just he on his head, but oh. he fell on the ground and he hurt himself. Heads are the worst. Dude. Yeah. I'm just trying to find... I don't even... How old is your son? He is five. Janet says her son is five, but according to news reports, he was four years old when this video was taken. So I don't know if this is the right one. Go to Washington. Where did you get that address from? Just now? From the top of my head. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's where you remember leaving him. So yeah, Alika. That's Alika? Mm -hmm. How do you spell that? A-L-I-C-A. Okay. Um, last name is B-O-N-N. B-O-N-N? -N? Yeah. Bone. Bon. Uh. She seems to remember a different spelling of her friend's last name, contradicting her previous confirmation from before. So, and, and if you guys can't find him or whatever, this is where I'm going to be for the next 12 months. But I mean, they he's there. They check in. How did you guys discuss that you're going to, you're obviously going to communicate with him still. You want to check on him right. and all that. How are you guys going to communicate? Well, I'm not. I'm not gonna have my. I'm not gonna use my phone because okay. I'm gonna be here for the next twelve months. Okay. Um. So if anything, I don't know what else. Okay. That's it. You didn't discuss that with Alika before you. Left? I, I. Yes, I discussed with her. I'm gonna be here for twelve months, and then. Um. And then, but before that, um. Like I don't speak to my parents or anything like that because we got into an altercation. So, but this is where I. This is where I'm gonna be. Okay. You can. Um, gonna give yeah. him that address. Yeah. And then. Um, Tell me about your alcoholism. How long have you been dealing with that? I've been drinking alcohol. Or if um, you don't mind telling me, you don't yeah, have it's to okay. tell me. It's not I've been my here. Business, this is like my third. Okay, I've been here like this is like my third year here. Okay. So I did eleven months in recovery because I've never. I was never like an alcoholic. I was more like of a drug user. So mm -hmm. I, the only drug I ever used was meth. Yeah. And I used it for a, roughly like five. Four to five years. Okay. Um, I came to finally get clean on and off, on and yeah, off, right? Sure. I, I, I tried it one time and then years passed and then I do it again and then right. years passed. This is my third year clean. I started drinking a lot because I was like, okay, I'm not a drinker. I'm, I'm a, I, I was, you know, I was a, I was a drug use user. Drugs, so right. alcohol is okay. So yeah. alcohol is fine. I'm like, it's a socialized thing sure. that everybody does. I'm, yeah. I'm going to go out, I'm going to have dinner, I'm going to do this. Well, I drink to the point where I can drink a whole bottle of just like liquor. So I'm like, that's, that's I, now I'm an yeah. alcoholic. Gotcha. So I started to have all kinds of problems, and then now I'm back here hoping I can get clean again. It just depends. Well, I'm glad you're in a space where you feel safe, that you feel like that can work for you. I hope it does. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Well, I hope... I just want to um, figure out where your son is. Obviously, there was some concerns, and once yeah. we can do that, um, his injury was pretty bad. Yeah, was there quite a bit of blood and stuff? What did he do? He jumped from the, from the bed that we were sleeping on to the ground, and then he just got blood on his head and so I had him taken to the doctor and so he's doing good okay okay how did what did he hit it on just on the ground okay how did it start bleeding just it's just started bleeding can you show me like what side of his head do you remember what side of his head it was um I don't remember exactly what side of the head it was but it's starting to rain a little bit yeah that's <laughs> okay so you don't huh, what time did it occur today just, like early like at 10 11 so how long were you guys at the hospital we were only there for a little bit. He, I don't even think he got checked. We got there, and um, but we didn't. He didn't. I didn't wait enough for him to get checked out. So, so he didn't him. actually go back and get mm -hmm. checked. Gotcha. Did you actually go inside and check him in? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then did you tell him you were leaving, or did mm -hmm. you, you did? Okay. You just said he's not going to be seen and left. Yeah. Okay. And how was he acting? He's okay. Yeah. What happened to him when he fell? Nothing. He just cried. Just cried. Mm -hmm. Just. Just like. You know, just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, that's scary. He's four? Okay. Janet confirms his age of four, even though she said he was five earlier. Do you know how long you were? Was there a lot of people in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why you didn't want to wait, because it was too long. Do you think he needed stitches or anything? No, he's fine. Okay, you didn't remember where his injury was? Mm-mm. Is it front, side, back? Do you remember? It's the side. It was the side. Definitely one of the sides that so, you recall? the front, yeah. Okay, front. You're kind of pointing above the eyebrow. Mm -hmm. You contacted your friend through Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Or I got her information through Facebook. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then what information did you get? Um, just her number and then I went to her house and dropped off my kid there and then now I'm here. Okay. You got like her phone number? Mm -hmm. Okay. And did you call her from your phone? Um, from my phone. 
Okay, the one that's in your purse there you called mm -hmm. her from? Okay. I think I erased it though, but I have her number. At this point, there are multiple definitive pieces of information that Janet didn't remember or simply didn't have access to that she miraculously remembers or discovers in her phone. Who she left her son with being one, where she left him being another, where his injury was on his head. And now she claims to have her friend's number even though she said she deleted her Facebook and phone records. I don't know if you guys want to call her, but I don't think she's going to answer anymore. I don't think she's going to answer. How come? What makes you think that? Because I don't know if she's still going to be there. Did you send her any text messages? No. Okay. <clears throat> Do you remember what your son was wearing today when you took him to the hospital? Um, pajamas, blue pajamas. Poo? Like Winnie the Pooh? Just regular blue pajamas. Oh, blue. I might just take her phone. She's got some specks on her shirt. She's got blood on her shoes. She's not really making sense. So, if you guys don't, like, locate my son, what's going to happen? That's what we're working on at yeah. the moment. Why, why do you think they won't be able to locate him? I mean, if you got the address to where he be. Because, like, I'm, I don't know, I'm just saying, if you guys are not able to find him, like, what, what can happen? What's looking like, what it's looking like right now is that we're going to need to stay with you until we find him because it sounds like you said you know where he is you know where you left him right so it shouldn't be an issue right, right. You should yeah. be able to locate him okay so that's what we just need to stay with you until until we locate him okay 